Peter Gregory Obi and Atiku has made their displeasure known to the U.S. government when the U.S. government, through the U.S. Secretary of State, congratulated Tinobu. Hmm. They not only congratulated Tinobu, but you know, a one-on-one -on -one call, a one-way call. Is it one-way call now? A one-on-one -on -one call. You know, was placed to Tinobu while Tinobu was in France, congratulating Tinobu and then talking about how the U.S. and Nigeria is going to be working together throughout Tinobu's administration. Now, this does not sit well with Peter Obi Atiko, but it's obvious that uh, the U.S. doesn't care, notwithstanding the fact that... <clears throat> There have been some disputes concerning the election results and the case is still at the tribunal yet to be, uh, a ved verdict is yet to be announced yet. <laughs> they will, by the way, by, by what we are seeing, the U.S. doesn't, doesn't, doesn't care. Like they, they don't care if Peter will be an article are happy or not all they want to do is secure secure their space or secure secure tinubu throughout his administration so that they will be able to work together before we go on with today's news if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video Help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Leave your opinions in the comment section, my people. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Finally approved, at break for Peter Obi, Atiku as Biden announces top U.S. officials to attend Tinobu's inauguration. The Supreme Court has said May 26 for its decision in a lawsuit seeking Bola Tinobu's and Kashim Shetima's dismissal as the president-elect and vice-president-elect respectively. After hearing from the parties and Tunis, the panel of the Supreme Court set the date on Monday. Shetima was accused of receiving two nominations in the lawsuit which was filed by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, via the representation of Mike Okehom San. Shetima was also named as Shetima's running partner for the presidency. The party is asking the Supreme Court to overturn the Court of Appeals decision to reject the appeal on the basis of Lucas Standy and award 5 million naira in cost. The PDP requested that the Supreme Court review the case on its merits and evaluate the legal theories behind the lawsuit. The PDP alleged that Shetima's selection as Tinubu's running mate violated the terms of Section 29, Subsection 1. 33, 35, and 84, subsection 1 and 2 of the Electoral Act of 2022 in the lawsuit filed on July 28, 2022. The lawsuit was previously rejected by an Abuja Federal High Court for lack of local standing. Meanwhile, President of the United States, Joe Biden, has declared that he would send a team to the inauguration of President-elect Bola Tinubu on May 29 in Abuja. According to Newsroom Nigeria, Biden announced a nine-member delegation for the occasion in a statement posted to the White House website on Monday evening, May 22, 2023. No less than 65 foreign leaders, including heads of state, have been invited to attend Tinobu's inauguration as Nigeria's 16th president at Eagle Square in Abuja. The inauguration is anticipated to be attended by representatives of Nigerians' traditional allies, including the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, France, 
Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Pakistan, China, Germany, Finland, Jamaica, Japan, Israel, Turkey, and numerous more. The head of Biden's delegation will be Masia L. Fuge, Secretary of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Among the other delegation members are 1. Mr. David Green, Deputy Charge the Affairs, American Embassy in Abuja, the Honorable Representative from California and the United States, Sydney Kamlaja Dove, the Honorable Marisa Lago, Under Secretary of Commerce for International Trade, United States Department of Commerce, General Michael E. Land League, Head of U.S. Africa Command, the prestigious N.O.T. Ebong, Head of the U.S. Trade and Development Agency, the Honorable Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs, U.S. Department of State, Mary Catherine, Jude De Vermont, Senior Director of the National Security Council for African Affairs and Special Assistant to the President, the Honorable Monday Muyagwa, Assistant Administrator for the Bureau for Africa, United States Agency for International Development. The mission is a symbol of the U.S. government's dedication to maintaining goodwill and diplomatic relationships with Nigeria. The attendance at the inauguration demonstrates how highly the Biden administration values its bilateral relationships and involvement with African countries. The opponents, pardon me, the opposition parties have however persisted in saying that the election was not free and fair despite President Biden sending a mission to Nigeria. You guys have it. It seems the US doesn't, they, they don't care whether Peter B is pleased or whether Atiku is pleased or not. All they want to continue doing with Nigeria is to continue to have a good relationship with Nigeria, no matter, you know, the person that is at the end of, end of affairs or whether the person even came to power by legal means or illegal means, I don't think that is their business. All they want to do is to, you know, have a good standing relationship with the country and continue to benefit with from Nigeria and Nigeria likewise. Let me have your thoughts in the comment section, you or what do you think? Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.